welcome back. So today, Arian and I are going to take you guys on a little fishing adventure. But before that, a few people have been asking me, where do you launch out of Santa Cruz? Where do you go? And pretty much you go to over here. You could park on the street and drag your kayak down to that little dock. Or you could come over to the parking lot where you could actually go to the bathroom here in the little squirt thingy. Or, if you want to, you could go a little bit more north and launch your kayak off of that little dock. But, there is also another ramp. It's on the east side, and it's mainly more for boats, but kayakers, paddle boards could also launch from here too. Which, I done it for a few years before I went to the other side. And, the good part about this side is, there's a little fish cleaning station right here. I met a guy there before too. He was yelling at me, but uh, yeah, I thought he was yelling at me because of something else. But he watches my videos, and uh, <laughs> yeah, um, Santa Cruz is a very nice area. And the only thing that you need to watch out for is the south swell coming up north because it will hit you straight on as you exit the jetty mouth, or when you come back, it'll be a rough ride coming back in especially when the wind's blowing and the boats are coming in and it it, it could be pretty messy because the waves will be crashing on the beach pretty hard so Aaron is right there if you haven't seen Aaron uh, him and I we fish a lot a uh, very good guy great fisherman catch big halibuts and if you ever do see him say hello <laughs> uh, Aaron was asking me where we're gonna go uh and i told him um let's go to my spot i got a good spot that's been hitting pretty well and uh it's a little further out but let's go and check it out and we got lucky because look at how flat the water is and very light wind so the trek out to the spot was uh pretty easy there is a little undercurrent that's going back towards the harbor, though. Oh, back at the same spot, dude. <laughs> They're still here. They're just very quiet, super slow drift. That thing just took off. I, I thought it was almost gonna, like, the rod was gonna break right off. <laughs> As I was talking shit about this spot, like, yeah, you know what? <laughs> but it's not giving me any head shakes, though. But usually a hell of a bit gets a head shake. Ooh, it's a, it's a big howie. That's a good howley. Yeah. Holy shit! <laughs> and those boat took off too. Ugh. Holy shit! I think that's pretty close to the other one. <laughs> I get myself hooked. Bang it to death first. <sighs> Not bad. Because I don't fuck up on the net. <laughs> I'm only gonna get the clip. It just fucking took off, dude. <laughs> I was like, dude, yeah, I think we should probably start making our way somewhere, but. So you're just on the bottom or? Just on the bottom. I'm barely moving. 
I think they're just riding super slow. Yeah, I wasn't gonna pay attention. gonna lose my rod dude oh probably, 5, probably huh yeah. oh, I got lucky I got him hooked on both hooks one on the cheek and the circle hook on the bottom you still rolling yeah Thank you. I'll turn around. <laughs> oh, you're, <facing> me. <laughs> you're good. You should probably bleed it. The last one didn't bleed it, I got home. Yeah. And there's so much blood still left. I just gotta flop out the net. Dude, I don't know how you did it with your big one. I don't know how you did it with your 40, 45 pounder. Now that's pretty insane. I don't know how to put this thing in there. <laughs> is blowing and I'm a little wet from the halibut fighting and grabbing it and washing myself. It's pretty cold though. <laughs> I still got my jacket so still good but uh, I'm gonna have to go catch up with Aaron. I don't like leaving leaving each other or too far apart. The whole point of fishing together is to fish together but I just want to make one more quick round, but just in case I'm still here. We made our way back to where 
we normally fish and we were hooking up a lot more a lot often but there were a lot of the little small rockfish and small wing cod and Aaron got some good actions too but the mackerels were kind of dispersed and a little rockfish <laughs> Yep, little baby one. Got me all excited. It's not bad. Little baby fillets. Not bad. I might, I might take it, give it to my sister in Watsonville. forgot to measure it but me and Aaron were talking in the parking lot and uh Aaron got a very good guess and uh yeah 36 inches not bad <laughs> so Parmesan cheese bone broth green onion parsley Bone broth, water, olive oil, and adding a little bit of truffle salt. So that way when you pour in your couscous, it's a one-to-one -one ratio. And the couscous will absorb all that flavoring. So be good. I'm cooking with the skin side up first. And then I put skin side down. And then I'll flip it around to everything nice and crispy. And... Making sure that it's cooked thoroughly because some of those fillets are pretty thick. And then uh, do my plating. Put some couscous on the bottom, some parsley mix on top, lemon squeeze, green onion, lemon zest, soy sauce for fish on top, and yeah, there you go. A little catch and cook. <laughs> 